It's Ash from Super Videos, back for another reaction to an episode of The Walking Dead. This is my reaction to Season 10, Episode 11, which is called Morning Star. Last episode was a pretty good episode, and it seems like this episode is going to be just as great and just as exciting, so I can't wait for it. Let's jump right into it. I wonder why they're gathering this tree sap. Maybe explosives. <laughs> Classic Negan. Where are you? <laughs> Let's see how much Negan is really into this. <laughs> we all know what he's really thinking. It's crazy how they can differentiate between the walkers and the whispers, like visually, because at the end of the day, both have just masks on. So it's pretty awesome that they make that distinction so seamless there's our man Negan with his whisper mask I found a tree last night. oh he's still talking to that girl from the radio it's just a matter of time before you do I'm sure they're not going to be happy to find out who she is. It's Mary. She uh, ran away from Elvis Camp. You know what's up? What's she doing here? Her nephew is uh, Adam. Oh, right. That's going to be another awkward conversation. Hey, girl. You said you were going to bring people who wanted to see Alice. Not one of our enemies who wants to see my son. She's not an enemy. You don't know that. You keep her away from my kid. Wait. Is this the same camp that Daryl used to stay at? How'd you find me? This is Daryl's place, right? Yeah, see, I was right. I thought you needed some comfort. I heard what happened at the cave. My mother's was coming. Did everyone see the tower in the back? That's gotta be a tease. Is she gonna hear her on the radio? Oh. One more question about that satellite. Now she's going to think Eugene spilled the beans. And they're going to lose contact. You just made me break my promise. Now go. Or say something I truly regret. Damn, Eugene. I'm sure you just regret saying that. He would do the same. It would feel good. But you know what might feel goddamn fantastic? Getting those assholes to surrender. Which is never gonna happen. We can get them to join us. How many scouting missions you got on some hundreds? Have you ever seen Where's Gamma? No, we don't have to die here. We're going to have to fight. And if we die, we die fighting for a place that means something. That's a message I think everyone can stand behind. Oh, perfect timing for Carol to show up. Hmm, roadblocks, savior style. Oh, that's even something the saviors would do. Oh, damn, he knows. Whoa, double trouble. Whoa. Gracie? They came back. Come on now, people. Do whatever you need to get your head Earl is right. really stepping up in this episode. This is gonna be the which part. means he might not make it. We need you, Carol. We need you right now. This is your time to come back. Is he gonna tell her his secret? Oh. <laughs> yep. You can't fool Carol. Is that Adam? Yes, it is. And that's Mary. I'm surprised we haven't seen a scene between Mary and Lydia. If I die tonight, it'll live for everything we've been trying to build for him. 
I like Alden stepping up. I mean, he's not wrong, but he's not right. Would this have happened if it was any other night? What do you mean? That's a great question. If we didn't think we were going to die tonight. We're going to die tonight? <laughs> she doesn't think so. And I hope they don't. Oh. This is the scene where Rosita and Eugene kiss from the teasers. One question. Why are they making Rosita be such a slut? I mean, Siddiq just died. She's with Gabe. She has a baby with Siddiq. And now she's fooling around with Eugene. What the hell? Hopefully this will and all Rosita Eugene shippers trying to ship them together. This is awkward. I'm gonna kill her. Hmm. good. Yeah, it'll make you feel good. You but how is that gonna help the situation? I think this conversation was long overdue. Whoa. Something's happening. Something's coming. This is not normal. Not gonna lie, Josh McDermott can sing. It's a cool montage of them getting prepared for the battle. I don't get it though. Why can't we have a scene between Mary and Lydia? I think Rosita's fate has been sealed at this point. Which is probably not going to happen. Oh. Finally. I'm sure he's going to bring along Ezekiel. We all know why. I'm glad we're actually seeing Daryl limp a little bit. No, I got cancer. <laughs> That's okay, you know what I'm saying? Damn. I'm sorry about that. He was really chill about it. And Daryl was chill responding to him. You're stronger than most. There's a whole lot of people here. We're glad about that. It's true. I am too. Pretty cool heart to heart between these two. Another thing that's long overdue. But she's not like the other kids, Daryl. I'm not scared. I know you're not. Maybe I am. That's sweet. Whoa! Epic way to put it on. That was deep. Don't wait for me. Save yourself. That's pretty much what he said. We all know this is a tease that Maggie's coming back. He doesn't hate you, Carol. Just start acting smart again. That's all he wants. I'm never gonna hate you. Exactly. But get your shit together, Carol. That's what Daryl was thinking. This is an awesome shot. Love this shot. <laughs> Jerry is ready. Let's get it on. 
Walkers and whispers. That's kind of disgusting, but awesome at the same time. They look in control, which I like. That's an epic shot too. That's a pretty cool shot too. Nice, Mary is fighting with them. They're all kicking ass. The action sequences in this episode are off the chain. Oh. Here we go. See, these are used as bombs. I called that. Damn. This is an epic shot. Holy crap, it's like a freaking movie. Oh, damn. They have shit all over them, too. Hmm. That's not what Negan wants. I'm sure of it. Whoa. I don't know now. Is Negan really with the survivors, or is he truly a whisper? Holy shit. Damn. Everything's burned down. Alright, so that was my reaction to season 10 episode 11 called Morning Star. This was a very, very good episode. I enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed the last episode. Great pacing, and the battle sequence at the end made this episode super cool, and... It made it worth it. Like the first part of it was set up, but the second part with the battle delivered and it's great setup for the next episode to come. But now Hilltop is burned down, so it's gonna be interesting to see what happens there. But in terms of the first bit of the episode, I absolutely loved the one-on-one -on -one dialogue between the characters. I think some of those conversations were long overdue, like between Daryl and Ezekiel and Lydia and Carol, so I'm glad that they did it at least, but it should have come a little sooner. But this entire episode I think was a great, great setup for that next episode. The only problem I had with this episode was we didn't see any scenes between Mary and Lydia. That's one of the things that I'm super disappointed about. But that first part of this episode with the setup I absolutely enjoyed. It was a great pace of character development and story development, so I absolutely enjoyed it. That second bit with the battle, I really, really loved. It was like watching a movie, so it was awesome. And I hope that it continues for the next episode. I hope they don't take it down a notch in the next episode as far as action sequences go. And I hope that they give us everything that they got in the next episode as well. But final thing I forgot to mention, love the Easter eggs and callbacks to previous seasons in this episode. I do have this series on the channel where I talk about things you may have missed and easter eggs for the episodes that aired. So it's going to be super fun to do one for this episode. So make sure to check that out. It should be out by the end of the week. So stay tuned for that. There's some super cool easter eggs and callbacks that they had in this episode. Which I'm excited to talk about in that video. But with that said, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video. If you like what you see, press like, subscribe for more content, and press the bell button to receive notifications for daily uploads.